Hello, and welcome back to the Four Horsemen. My name is Paul, representing Diecast Graveyard. Myself, along with Tom Ward from Caliber 50 Customs, Harolyn from Go Bears Diecast Workshop, and Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs make up the Four Horsemen. This build is dedicated to breast cancer awareness. Now, the entire month of October is dedicated to breast cancer awareness. Now, of course, there are other forms of cancer, etc. And if you happen to know someone who has had cancer, is recovering, or, or uh, a loved one who has passed away, unfortunately, try, try and make a donation to the Cancer Society in your local area and dedicate it to that person. I know it would be greatly appreciated by those that are, that are uh, battling with that uh, affliction now. But uh, it's, it's, it's very important that we get together as a community to back fantastic causes like this to eradicate this terrible disease. Now today I'm going to make a build here and I'm going to, to dedicate it to breast cancer awareness and um, I hope you enjoy it. So go ahead and grab your favorite adult beverage, raise it in the air, toast for breast cancer awareness and let's have a great time with this build. I'm truly sure that you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun so let's go ahead and get started with today's build. It's time to start the autopsy. <laughs> Here I have a 64 Chevy Nova Gasser. Now, fortunately, I was already messing around with this and did a wheel swap on this car for Wheel Swap Wednesday. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that. So these wheels are fantastic. We put those in. We use the JB Weld Super Glue with the UV light. And these wheels are going to be fantastic for what we're going to do. Here's the body. We've already got it all drilled out and ready to go. So we're going to strip that down. And here's the interior, and we've already detailed up the headlights. Here's the glass, that looks great. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to dip this body into the embalming fluid, or as most people know it, citrus strip, which you can get at Walmart. It's, it's a really good uh, product, it works well. It's uh, not super fast, but it works well, and it's very reasonably priced. I think it's about $11 or $12 a bottle. So make sure you're going to coat that evenly because you're going to try and remove every single scrap of paint because we're going to do a complete color change on this. Obviously, pink. Got it all stripped off and cleaned. Here we're going to use hot pink Spectre Flame from the Redline shop. This is going to work out fantastic for what I need to do. Mix it up with your hardener. It's a 5 to 1 ratio on the bottle. I use 4 to 1. Pink is all ready to go. It's all mixed up. Let's put it in the gun and get spraying. I went ahead and I sprayed it down, got it all coated up. Now we're going to put on the decals. And one of my favorite characters from my childhood and a great character for this month is the Pink Panther. I made these decals myself with my iColor 560. And I make sure that when I make these decals, I print them on paper first. Regular paper and then I'll cut them down put them on the car to make sure that they fit properly and then I'll make adjustments as necessary Ooh, easy there make sure you straighten those out now I also recommend that you have a nice smooth surface to put these on so make sure you got your car clear coated etc it's not necessary when you're using the Spectre Flame paint because it has clear coat in it but since you're putting decals on it, you're going to have to clear coat over the top of those in order to get those protected. Smooth out all the decal. Make sure you get all the fluid out of there and it fits inside the little creases and crevices. That layout turned out really nice. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Let's go ahead and get the roof and we'll get the other side of the car. That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and do the roof. I coat it down with Microset. And if necessary, later on, you might go back in with the Microsol 
And again, people ask me, well, how, what do you use? What's, what's the difference? Micro set is to help you set the decal, okay? And it'll help you, uh, it helps the glue adhere from the back of the decal, and it'll also help smooth it out. Now, later on, if you get any bumps in there or door jams or hinges or anything like that, the micro saw or solvent will soften up the decal and allow it to fit over that item or maybe in a crevice or something like that. But don't rub it too much because it does soften the decal. And if you rub it too much, it will destroy the decal. So something to be aware of there. And there's today's tip from your Uncle Polly. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Now's a good time to be enjoying your beverage. Now, of course, if you don't drink, grab yourself a Coke or a coffee or a water or whatever, some juice. But um, just sit back and relax and enjoy yourself. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And make sure you check out all the other cancer awareness builds. Now, by chance, if you want to purchase this car from me, Go ahead and send me a message in the comments and I'll get back a hold of you. But any money that I get from this car will be donated to the American Cancer Society. Also, these decals will be available soon for you to purchase. That looks good. Here's what we got. Here's the body. That looks fantastic. We got it clear coated with my die cast graveyard clear coat which is available at Diecast Graveyard. Makes your car look like glass. Here's the interior. I didn't touch the inside of the interior, but I did do the headlights and the taillights. Here's the glass, and here's the wheels. They look fantastic too. Let's go ahead and put this together and give my creation life. Folks, here's what we started with. We started with the 64 Nova Gasser. Now, like I said, I did a wheel swap on this car, so I went ahead and reused that one. And this is what we used to make the Pink Panther for the Paint It Pink Challenge for the month of October of Breast Cancer Awareness. We took the car apart. We went ahead and stripped all the paint off of it with my citrus strip, or my embalming fluid, as I call it. We put some beautiful decals on there. The Pink Panther decals that I made myself and I printed it with my iColor 560 printer. Now if you're um, interested in a printer like that that does true white toner, let me know and get a hold of me and I will get back to you with some information. But I'll tell you folks, it's made to print uh, transfers for t-shirts and it works fantastic. It's a business in a box and I can help you get started with your business. This was a great, great build today. And here's what we got to. Look how beautiful this Nova Gasser turned out with the Pink Panther decals, again, for breast cancer awareness. Again, I'm selling this car. If you want to purchase this car, it will come on a custom card. I can also put a name on there if you're going to dedicate it to somebody before I print it up. And all the money that I reach or I, I raise for this will go to breast cancer awareness. I will have a link in the community chats that you can get a hold of me to place bids on this. And it'll go for approximately four or five days, somewhere around there. And then, what, like I said, whatever I raise for this, we're going to donate it to the local American Cancer Society. Um, I'm very fortunate to have a mother-in-law who survived uh, breast cancer. And she's five years cancer-free. I love her so much and God bless her. But uh, this was a lot of fun. I truly enjoyed it. And I hope that um, you make a donation for somebody that you love. Here is a glamour shot of the car. Man, like I said, that turned out so nice. So nice. I'm truly enjoying this. Here's a picture from the back. You can see the Pink Panther on the top and the graphics on the back of the uh, trunk lid. Send your glamour shots to Four Horsemen Diecast at, die, at Four Horsemen Diecast at gmail.com. Sorry, I'm just all excited about this. Um, send me your pictures. We'll do a quick uh, recap of the Four Horsemen uh, Paint It Pink Challenge video. 
and uh, bring awareness to your website too or your YouTube page. I've had a fantastic time with you folks today. I hope you truly enjoy this. And if you got any questions, get a hold of me in the comments. My name is Paul, representing Diecast Graveyard. Don't forget to check out my other colleagues, Tom at Caliber 50 Customs, Harolyn at Go Bears Diecast Workshop, and Andrew at Maple Leaf Customs. Have a great and wonderful weekend. God bless you and cheers.